Okay, guys, pie chart circle graphs, that's what we're doing today. These things are beautiful, right? But they're a little intimidating. Okay, hopefully we can break them down so they're not intimidating. Okay, let's go. All right, this is the information that we are going to make a pie chart out of, okay? Um, it's people's favorite sodas, all right? I made this up. Dr. Pepper's my favorite, so it won, okay? Now, when you are... Uh, making a pie chart, it's very important to know your total, okay? These are all being compared to the total. The whole circle, the whole chart is your total, and the pieces are how these compare to the total, okay? So that's very important. When I add all these up, I get 500, okay? So 500 people were asked. These were the answers, okay? So now what are we going to do with this? Okay, don't let this intimidate you. It's not as scary as it looks, okay? This is just a really cool thing I came up with, all right? Don't be scared of it. Okay. <laughs> so what we need to do is we need to know how big these pieces are on our circle chart, right? Okay. All circles, no matter how big or small they are, are 360 degrees around, no matter the size of the circle. It's kind of a beautiful system. Okay. So we need to figure out how many degrees each of these slices are. How do you do that, you ask? I'm going to show you, okay? First, we need to figure out these as percentages, okay? So how do I find a percentage? If you need a quick percentage review, guess what? I've got a video over there. It'd be perfect, okay? Meanwhile, if you don't need that, stick around. Okay, Mountain Dew, 70 out of 500 people, that was their favorite. So that's how we figure out the percent, okay? The part is 70, the whole is 500, okay? When I divide those, oh, there's my last problem. When I divide those, 70 divided by 500, I get 0 0.14. Well, that doesn't look like a percent. Well, the percent, you move it over twice because percent means per hundred. And this as a fraction is 14 hundredths. So it is 14%. Okay. You just move that over twice. Okay. We're feeling good. Mountain Dew is 14%. Okay. Coke, 125 out of 500. All right. Let's go ahead and divide that. This isn't too bad so far, right? All right. We get zero. 0.25. Scoot that over twice. That is 25%. Okay. All right. Sprite. 62 out of 500. Okay. So I do 62 divided by 500 and I get 0 0.124. Okay. When I scoot that over, I get 12.4%. Now, I'm guessing the level that you're at, your teacher will probably want you to round this to the nearest whole number. In that case, you look at this number, it's a four. So we're going to keep this as a 12. If it were five or above, we'd move it up to a 13, but it's a four. So we're going to keep it at 12%. Okay. All right. Dr. Pepper, 200. It's my favorite. So I gave it the most. 200 divided by my whole, which was 500. 0 0.4. All right, as a percent, that's not 4%, it is 40%. Remember, you're moving it over twice, so 40%. Last one, Sun Kissed. My husband loves orange soda, so I just had to throw it in for him. All right, 43 was the part, 500 is the whole. 43 divided by 500 is, I get 0 0.086. If I move that over twice, I get 8.6. So again, I'm going to keep it with the whole numbers. So to round that, that's a six. So I'm going to round this up to a nine. Okay. Now a quick check just to be able to um, feel like you're on track is to add these up. They should equal a hundred percent. Okay. And these do. Now that being said, because we rounded a few times, it is possible you could get 90%, sorry, not 90, <laughs> scratch that, 99% or 101% just because of that rounding, okay? 
So as long as you're 99, 100, 101, you're good just because of the rounding. Okay. All right. Now we got it as a percent, but we need it as degrees. So why did we find the percent? Good question. We need to now know the percent of 360. Okay. Because our circle is in degrees. So when we figure out the percent of 360, that's going to give us how many degrees. Okay. So I'm just copying these over here. I need to know what 14% of 360 is. That'll give me how many degrees for Mountain Dew. I need to know 25% of 360. I need to know 12%, 40%, and 9%. Okay. Now, well, how do I figure those out? You might feel like we're going backwards, but I just felt like it was really important for you to see this visually. Okay. So to figure out the degrees, I take 360 and multiply it by the decimal version of the percent. So by 0.14. Okay. 0.14. Again, you're like, okay, then why the crap did we do this? This was just so you could understand what we're doing. Um, when you're getting better at it, you can just skip this part and you'll probably know, oh, now I need to multiply 360 by 0.14. Okay. But I just wanted you to be able to visually see it. It's important. Okay. <gasps> All right. So now we're going to multiply that. So we get 360 times 0.14. That gives me 50.4. Okay. Again, I'm going to keep these as whole numbers. So 50.4 rounds to 50. And we are now in degrees because we took 14% of 360 degrees. That was 50 degrees. Okay. So that is my Mountain Dew slice. All right. Coke, 25%. To find out what 25% of 360 is, I'm going to multiply this by 0 0.25. Okay. So 360 times 0 0.25 gives me 90 degrees. Okay, next one, to know what 12% of 360 is, I'm going to take 360 and multiply it by, okay, I could multiply it by 0.124. Again, we're rounding, so I'm just going to multiply it by 0.12. It would probably round to the same thing anyway, okay? All right, 360 times 0.12 gives me 43.2. Again, I'm going to round so I'm going to round it to 43 degrees since that's a two. Okay. Since it's a circle chart on the level that we are, look how tiny these degrees are. So to do 0 0.2 is basically impossible. So that's why we're rounding. Okay. All right. I need to know what 40% of 360 is. So I'm going to multiply by 0 0.4. So 360 times 0 0.4 gives me 144 degrees. And then 360, and you know what 9% of that is? Now, don't multiply it by 0 0.9 because that would give me 90% and be way too big. So I'm going to multiply by 0 0.09. Okay. You move that back 1, 2. So 0 0.09 because we don't want 90%. We want 9. So 360 times 0 0.09 gives me 32.4. Again, I'm going to round. It's a four. So I'm going to round it to 32 degrees. Okay. Another check like we did over here is to add these. They should add to 360. But for me, when I add these, I actually get 359. But that's because we rounded. Okay. So as long as you get 359, 360, 361, you're good to go at this level. We're fine. So 359, I'm feeling good. If I'd gotten like 350, oh, 10 degrees off? Yeah, that's not okay. So I'd need to check it. All right. Now, a nice thing to do when you're doing um, pie charts is, I mean, you won't like get in ginormous huge trouble probably if you don't do it, but it's just nice and visually pleasing is if you do them in order. So from, go from biggest to smallest. So I'm just going to quickly number these. So Dr. Pepper is one... Coke was two, I'm just going biggest to smallest, Mountain Dew three, Sprite four, Sunkist five. Okay, so that's my order. Now, how do I convert this to a pretty chart? Here's my pretty chart. All right, I simply just took what we figured out here 
and typed it up here just to look pretty for the video, okay? And I also put them in order from biggest to smallest, but this is just the information we found here, 144, 90, and I also put the percentages because we're going to use those in a second, okay? All right. Another thing that's nice to do um, is to start, you just draw a line. Now, you could draw it anywhere, but it's kind of nice and visually pleasing if you start like about 12 o'clock, just straight up. Okay. It's just kind of nice. Now, what is this bad boy? This is a protractor. Okay. You've probably used one before. Um, I got this bad boy at uh, my local grocery store for 69 cents. So uh, if you don't have one, they're pretty cheap. But if it's like 1130 at night and your mom's like, <laughs> I'm not driving you to the grocery store right now to get a 69 cent protractor. There are some printable versions online. They're not quite as user friendly to use, but they will totally work in a pinch. Um, I will link one down in the description below. So if you need to print one, happy day, cut it out. I mean, it's not perfect, but it'll be, it'll work. Okay. So remember how we said a circle is 360 degrees. These are my degrees around here. So since this is half a circle, this goes to 180. Okay. These are my degrees. Okay. I need to figure out what 144 degrees looks like. That's my biggest slice. So 144 degrees is going to be over here from this zero. Okay. So we are going to line up not actually with the edge, but with this line here. That's where you're kind of need to be careful if you're using a paper one. Okay. So this line here, right where it says zero here, I'm lining that up with this line and this hole I'm going to line up in the center. Okay. So see that line? I'm lining it up right there. Now this is my zero and I need 144 degrees. So I'm going to go 10, 20, all the way over to 140, 1, 2, 3, 4, 144 degrees, okay? I put a little mark there, and then I'm simply just using this as a straight edge, like a ruler here. So if you are using a paper one, you'll probably want like a ruler or something to be a straight edge just for this part, okay? All right, there is my Dr. Pepper 144 degree slice. Okay. I'm going to label it Dr. Pepper. Da, 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 da. Okay. Now your teacher may specify how they want these slices labeled. They might want, um, the percentage listed. They might want the degrees listed. Um, it's kind of personal preference. I personally, am going to put the percentage. That's why I wrote these here. So our Dr. Pepper, we figured out was 40%. Okay. Beautiful. I've got one slice down. Okay. Um, again, with the labeling, this is something like if you make a pie chart on like a program such as Excel, this is the part where you can play with how it looks like quite a bit and how it's labeled. So again, it's kind of personal preference, what you want represented. There's no like hard and fast rule. Okay. Just make sure it gives enough information. Okay. Coke is my next one. It is 90 degrees. This is going to be my new zero because my new slice, my new angle is going to come out from here. So I'm going to line up this line. Hopefully you can kind of see that this line with this line. Okay. Again, this hole goes on the center. Line up those lines. This is my da, 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 zero and I'm going all the way to 90, which is actually dead center. So I make a little mark. And then try and make as straight of a line as I can. There we go. That is 90 degrees. That is my Coke slice. And it was 25%. Okay. All right. Mountain Dew. 50 degrees. I'm measuring from this line. Okay. So this is my zero. 50 degrees is right here. Now you might go, oh wait, but there's a 50 over here too. Well, that 50 is from this zero. So if I was doing a 50 degree angle from there, great, but I'm not. This is my zero and I'm doing 50 to there. Okay. So there's my little mark. Make my line. And that was Mountain Dew. 
because I don't really like Mountain Dew. I'm sorry. I, I was going to say I wish I did, but I actually don't really care. So there you go. <laughs> I know some people love Mountain Dew. All right. Shout out to Mountain Dew lovers. All right. Sprite. Okay. I've got two slices left. And the hope, the prayer, if we did this right, is that I'll be able to draw them online and they'll both measure how they should. Okay. So Sprite is 43 degrees. I'm measuring from this line. So I'm going to line this up here. Okay. Always watch where your zero is to make sure you're going to the right, using the right side. Okay. So zero to 43. Here's my 41, two, three. It's about there. And here is my line. Isn't this looking good? All right. There we go. This is Sprite. And it was 12%. Okay, now crossing our fingers that this slice is 32 degrees. Okay. Oh man, we are pretty dang close. Okay. Again, just like with those other things, since we did some estimating, it might not be completely perfect. But as long as you're really close, you're fine. Okay. So mine is at like about maybe like 32 and a half, 33. So we are golden. If it was at like 42, it'd be like, oh crap, what did we do wrong? All right, this is Sunkist. 9%. I should have done another category because I'm sure somebody is out there like, oh my gosh, you didn't list the best soda in the world. Okay, sorry. I got my own Dr. Pepper in there. So anyway, okay, not quite done. What? Don't worry. There's like no more math involved. Title. Graphs always need a title, okay? Um, I'm just going to name this Favorite Sodas. Is that pretty clever? That took me a long time to come up with that title, okay? Favorite Sodas. Um, if you'd, like, gotten a poll from a specific, like, high school or university or something, you might want to say, like, Favorite Sodas of such and such. But I'm just going to label it Favorite Sodas. The last thing is, back to kindergarten kids, color. That's the best part of a pie chart, right, is the color. Now, I didn't think you wanted to sit and watch me, you know, color for the next 15 minutes. So this is where I get to pretend like I have a cooking show and I say, voila. <gasps> okay. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Look at that. We did that. You did amazing. Uh, go get your homework done. Maybe go to the store and buy a protractor. And while you're there, buy some soda. Or some broccoli or something. Okay. And then get your homework done and go to bed and have dreams of math that aren't nightmares.